Hello, faith leader, and welcome to Break Time today. Psalm 16.6 says this, The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. David's perspective amazes me because his perspective was beyond what he could see here. His inheritance was beyond someone passing him on something in an earthly fashion. His inheritance was set upon the eternal perspective. And that's what brought David joy. It wasn't what he was given here. It's what he knew was going to be his. His perspective was out of this world. And so, you know, it speaks to me in a sense that sometimes, do you agree with me, that we look for things to fulfill a spot in our heart or to bring us some sort of happiness, some sort of joy here. You know, and we look to that one item, if we could just have this, then, you know, life would be good. Or if we could just get this promotion, or if we could just have this job, you know, joy would fill my heart. It would be, it would be a good day. But you, but you understand the goodness of God, God's good inheritance is what gave David a good day. It wasn't based upon what was going to be given to him here. It was based upon what was going to be given to him in heaven. So sit back in that for a little bit and just think about that because I know, in, in from my perspective, I, if I get caught up into this world and trying to attain some sort of, if I gotta have that, oh my goodness, it happened to me last weekend, I gotta have that, I gotta have that. And then the funny thing is, when I went to get it, it lost its sense of, oh, awe for me. And so I didn't get it. And so I'm wondering, in my mind, and in, if, you, if you ever get caught up into this, thinking that you have to have something in order for your joy to be complete. See, when our joy isn't complete, then we look for things out here to complete it. But when our joy is complete, we don't need these things to complete us, but, they, but we're already in that place of joy. So be careful of that perspective. I'm talking about even in your midst of your workplace, if you think you have to have this, for your joy, to, for a smile to come upon your face. The reason we smile, the reason we have gladness is, in our, is based in a relationship. It's not based on what we possess. It's not based upon the title that's across our door. It's not based in, upon the position. It's not based upon your salary. It's not, it, you see what I'm saying? So you, my friend, sit back into it. Ask yourself, what brings you this joy? Are you looking forward to the eternal pleasures? Are you trying to find it all in this place?